Hello, everybody. This is Phil Chenevere with Why Do We Say That, a podcast devoted to looking into the origins of words and phrases that we use every day. Today I'm going to venture down that dangerous path called courtship, love, and marriage. This podcast brought to you by the letter T and the words Tango and Tickle. If you can use both of them in one sentence, you get five bonus points. Birds do it. Bees do it. Even educated fleas do it. <laughs> Yes, uh, today I'm going to look at love, weddings, honeymoons, and things like that. Where they come from? Right now. Of course, all this begins with courtship. When a man woos or courts the fair lady of his dreams, why do we call it courtship? Well, it's called this because a man waits patiently on his beloved, just as the courtiers of old waited in the courts of their king or queen until they could get a hearing. Then, if the lady found the courting acceptable, she might agree to a wedding, W-E-D-D-I-N-G, a word based on the Middle English verb wed, W-E-D, which means to gamble or to wager and to put your money down on a bet. So, a wedding is in a sense a gamble or wager that you are actually willing to bet everything on. The word came to be associated with marriage from the old vows to wedian for fairer for fouler. That's a quote, by the way. Of course, we now say for better, for worse, but the sense of a gamble is shown plainly. Hmm. Now, the word bridal as in bridal party, bridal bouquet, uh, bridal anxiety. This is made up of two words, bride and ale, A-L-E, because the pledge or vows were sealed with a cup of ale given by the bride to the groom. And we say that the bride and groom, quote, tied the knot, close quote, because of a very old part of the ceremony, in many countries, was for the person performing the marriage, in actuality, to tie the two corners of their wedding garments together, to signify their new status. Hence, to tie the knot. And that's why we say that. Now, honeymoon is a very delightful phrase, too. Those wonderful first days of marriage we call the honeymoon, it was used way back in the 1500s, and it was known as the honeymoon, H-O-N-Y-M-O-O-N-E, which meant month of honey, and it's not what you're thinking of, because it stems from a sweet German custom for newlyweds to give each other a large cup of mead, which is a strong wine made from honey, each day for a month. I guess it kept their strength up or something. So the next time you see a young couple off on their honeymoon, don't forget that six-pack of mead in the back seat. Of course, if they're health-conscious, you'd better make it uh, mead light. Okay, folks, enough love and marriage. This is Phil Chenevere with the Why Do We Say That podcast, episode number four. Tune in for more later on, probably in about a week or so. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.